Hello, hello, it's your girl Yolanda Nicole. Hey. hey, how you doing? I'm good, how you guys doing? Good, pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, you know, happy it was an off day today. Right. <laughs> so, tell the people a little bit about yourself. Well, I am 23 years old. Um, I graduated at the University of Nevada, Reno. I got a bachelor's in criminal justice. I don't know why I always question that because <laughs> <laughs> now I'm ready to pursue my music career. So uh, how, how long have you been singing? Um, actually, I found out that I could sing when it was, it was me and a group of friends. We were singing uh, Cheetah Girls. And I realized, like, I'm the only person who can actually sing these parts. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I got pretty, I, I kind of got a pretty good voice. Um, uh, in the sixth grade, I joined choir. I don't know, I didn't, it, that wasn't really for me, but I stuck it through out yeah. until I was a senior in high school. Then I kind of started beating myself up a little bit, like, your voice is it's different. You don't sound too good. And then... I just gave up. I used to write songs and I was quit, write again, quit. Started a YouTube channel. <laughs> okay. Those videos are still up there, but do not watch those. Hold on, what's your YouTube? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Do, you do not watch you those. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're gonna find them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but so, how long has, what was that time frame? How long is that? Like long? for real, for real doing it? Mm -hmm. Since I was 16. Okay. Since I was 16, so seven years. Not That's bad. Cool. Yeah. Tell the people where you're from, though. I'm originally from Dallas, Texas. Yes. Mm. Yeah, where you moved. How you, was the transition? I was going to say, yeah. From Texas to. It wasn't bad. Yeah. I just feel like, I don't know, when I first moved here, I was just like, that's when DCs were in. Oh, and yeah. So people were in DC, so I kind of tried to like fit in, started buying some DCs. I actually wore my brother's DC to the, my first day of school. <laughs> I feel it. I was the same thing about my siblings. We are, we are like, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you want to talk about your siblings? Like, what do they do? Are they into music? Are they into your music? Uh, my dad, he sings a little. He not. He he's really into music. That's probably what he does all day is listen to music. Um, my mom sung. She still sings, but she smokes, so she kind of mm -hmm. lost that. Um, my brother, he kind of got into the rap a little bit, and he's still doing it. But I think I'm the only one who pursued it and is going to continue to pursue it. I was going to say, is that a reason why you started to pursue music because it is in your family? Pretty much. It was, I just felt like I saw, I never wanted to be like my mom. Like I, she had a talent. Mm -hmm. She knew she had a talent. She pursued it and then she had us. And so when she had us, she kind of had to put that on the back burner. And I felt like I don't want to live my life in regret of not trying it. So mm -hmm. that's a good model right there. That, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you play any instruments at all? <coughs> this is the vocal, the vocal cords. Hey. That's, the only <laughs> That's the only ones you need. Yeah. So what do you spend like your free time doing when you're not making music? Well, I just started writing. Like at first I was like doing auditions of The Voice, American Idol. Mm -hmm. I was doing a bunch of those and then so I finally started writing. And I um, got a vocal coach. So. Mm -hmm. A lot of the stuff that I do when I'm not at school has is pertaining to like warming up, um, basically being becoming a better singer. But majority of reality shows, loving yeah. hip hop, uh, <laughs> <laughs> loving hip hop, um, Real House, Housewives of Atlanta, Netflix, and then, I guess Netflix yeah. and chilling. Yeah, Netflix, Netflix <laughs> and chilling. <laughs> oh wow! So, who are some of your greatest influencers? Uh, singing wise, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would have to say my mom. She, and she influences me. Uh, I love Monica. I just love her personality. I feel like she's super real. Real mm -hmm. Beyonce, of course. That woman can blow out of this world. Um, I think I have a soulful voice, so I really like to listen to Eddie James, and mm -hmm. I'm kind of starting to try to get into that. So, trying to figure out what soul is, so I can put that in my own music. Okay. So, so, so is soul your favorite genre to listen to or what do you like to listen to on the regular? On the regular I like something I can Big as here, hey like first going. let me you just need it on me. <laughs> <laughs> So that's really but when I'm singing like I try to listen to the older stuff but I get distracted. Okay. 
Now, I know it's November, <laughs> but are there any goals that you're trying to reach before the end of this year? Uh, yes, uh, I want to finish and finish or finish my EP. That's mm -hmm. one of my goals. Um, another goal is to lose some weight. Uh, and what I've been trying to work on for myself, I'm not, I'm not sure it's going to be by the end of the year, but just self-discipline in everything that I do mm -hmm. and get in a better relationship with God. That's pretty much it. I feel like I that feel should that. be everybody. Like, it is. Right <laughs> That's for real. If you could work with any artist, past or present, who would it be? Michael Jackson. Hey. <laughs> okay. Michael Jackson for sure. Wow. Now, for what specific reason would you want to work with Michael Jackson? Because he's great. Like, he was great. And I feel like I want to work with greatness so I can learn from greatness. Okay. That's a good answer right there. there. Yeah. You got a number two? I, got a num I want to know if you got a number two. Beyonce. Of course. Okay. It's a challenge. I feel like I would yeah. need to, she's a challenge. So if I can stand next to Beyonce and make her proud, for sure. <laughs> Is it an earthquake going <laughs> I heard that too. I, I felt a shaking. I don't know what that was. Hmm. So, do you have any shows coming up? Uh, yes, I do have a show December 11th. Oh. My first show, my first show, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and where will this show be? I haven't got all the details yet. Okay. But, yes, I yeah. will be performing. Yeah. Stay tuned. If you find out, please let us know. You know we're going to promote it for sure. Oh, please. That's yes. dope. So, I have a question. Yes. Do you, do you listen to Young Thug at all? I like his voice, but I don't. You really like his voice? Guy. I only listen to him like that. Okay. That was just, that was just that's a random question. Like, yeah. Why? It's been well, a topic in our house. <laughs> it was a topic of discussion. So, this is how it came about. Um, we were talking about Young Thug and how some people like like his artistry, and I beg to differ. I said that <laughs> I don't really think he's good a good artist. I said that. He uses his voice as an instrument, and I'll give him credit for that. That's cool. But I don't really see his artistry going further than that. Like, he isn't impacting anyone in a positive way. And then <laughs> someone threw, like, J. Cole in as a comparison, essentially, like, he isn't uplifting anyone. And I had to scratch my head <laughs> and, like... It was kind of very irritating <laughs> yeah so i was really hurt because j cole is my favorite artist and yes, i mean cool. he's a very uplifting person really i don't is. know it was it just it was a topic of discussion I just so need to, <laughs> the only thing i can say about that conversation is i feel like young thug reminds me like when i listen to him i can't distinguish him between him and Lil wayne that's like what Lil i wayne said too. yeah his his voice exactly is really I, I heard a little wayne verse like mm -hmm. today and it, i thought it was young thug and mm -hmm. i was like so confused and then he called his album the barter six or something like yeah. that because he couldn't call it the carter six yeah so that's my saying. whole thing <laughs> you're gonna copy another artist's artistry and, nah yeah <laughs> anyway though that was just a good question <laughs> I wanted to know though, can you do a little freestyle? Not a freestyle, but maybe a cappella. Maybe a, I knew, I knew a sing along. When, up, when I came up here, you're gonna ask <laughs> me to do that. Yes. I didn't even warm up, but I can do something. So okay. Yay. Now, look, since you're not warm, what if it's a song of your choice? Now, what do you like singing to? What would you like to sing? What do you sing as a warm up normally? Sing Happy Birthday as a warm up. Happy birthday. I'm trying to hear what she's trying to say. <laughs> sing what? Oh, saying Happy Sam birthday. Smith. You do Sam Smith as a warm up? Warm up? Okay. I'll do some Sam Smith. Uh, I'm not the only one. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And what is oh, your stage name? Yolanda Nicole. All right. Yolanda Nicole. Yes. Let's get it. Whenever you're ready. This is a warm up, so don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> You and me, we made a vow For better or for worse I can't believe you let me down For the bruise and the way it hurts For months on end I've had my doubts Denying every tear 
I wish this would be over now, but I know that I still need you here. You say I'm crazy. A dramatic climax. <laughs> and just like right in the middle. Yeah. I'm like, sorry. Right. I, I should have been prepared for that, you know. Next time. This is my first interview ever, ever. Ever, ever? Ever, ever, ever. Hey, well, I'm glad it happened on the Kiki um, and Kel show. Yes. I had a question because we are a hip hop show. Okay. Who's some of your favorite hip hop artists? Hip hop artists. Rappers. Rappers. I would have to say. Say, I don't have a favorite rapper, but if I was to put someone on, obviously it would be Drake, um, Lil Wayne. You know, who do you think is the best artist right now, or the best hip hop artist right now? If you can give somebody a Grammy. If I give yeah, somebody a Grammy? Who would you give it to? Why can't be hip hop? Because, I mean, okay, we'll ask you about. The, you know, okay. R&B too. What about okay. R&B as well? Okay. I'll answer uh, hip-hop. Okay. Shoot. <laughs> Sheesh. Right now. Nikki. Anybody, if you can give it to anyone right now. Nicki Minaj. Okay. Girl power. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't run the You probably don't know her, but I like her. I just kind of like discovered her on YouTube. Uh, she's just, I don't know when she signed to Def Jam, but her name is Alicia. Alicia, Alicia Cara? Yes. She's tight. Her yes. song here, you know what? Yes, I love it. That's a really good song. Uh -huh. Is she, like, can, can we play her right now? We actually can play is she, her right now. Oh, yeah, she's actually in my clean? one of my playlists. Is she clean? I like her. She has a nice sound. Alicia, Car Alicia Cara. Yeah. Have I'm, we played her yet? We played her before. Oh, okay. So. Let's get into Alicia Carr here. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah, Alicia Carr is dope. <laughs> All of us, yes. 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 That's the jam right there. Yeah, I'm so excited for her jam. journey just to see where she goes. Like, I hope it's not just this one song. What you know about her? Anything else? Like I, I don't mean, really know anything about. I literally just discovered her on YouTube. I was just on YouTube, just looking up some stuff, and I clicked on that song, and I was like, "Wow!" I wonder where she's from. That's that's uh, like Ontario. Ontario. Okay, yeah. she's another Canadian. Yeah, mm -hmm. man, they taking mm -hmm. over. Yeah, the Canadians are taking Canadian over. invasion, man. Yeah, yeah. We can be cool on that. All right, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that's cool though. So you know how it is. <laughs> how <laughs> is it? Does that mean anything to you? No, I'm just <laughs> are you are you busting us with your single today? Sure. Oh, oh, so can we get the, so we get an exclusive? So, without further ado, once again, this is Yolanda Nicole. You know how it is.
Sarah when Breezy come on. Ten hood, march of dimes on my back, just fall in line. Snap one time, hands on your knees, all shed back and throw that 20 inch weave. They're looking, they're watching, they're staring, they're hating, they're looking, they're watching. Snap one time, hands on your knees. Don't be shy and throw that 20 inch weave. They're looking, they're watching, they're staring, they're hating, they're looking, they're watching. You mad or no, mad or no, heading cause we all not see you mad for sure. You know how it is. You mad or no, mad or no, heading cause we all not see you mad for sure. You know how it is. That was so oh, lit. That's my baby. Wow, I love it. I love it. That's my baby. What made you come up with that concept? Honestly, <laughs> I wrote the first verse of that song like six months ago. Probably even longer than that. It was to a different beat. And then one day, Ari was just like, you need to finish that song. So I was just like, okay. Like, at first I was like, for what? Like, this no, it doesn't benefit me in no way. Yeah. And then when I had audition for The Voice, and they were like, you know, you're not ready. So I was just like, you know what? I'm taking a different route. I'm going to do it myself. So no one can continue to close doors on me, so I'm going to open up myself. And I found the beat, got to writing. Actually, it was me, Ariana, and my mom. We all... Hey. That ten, huh? March of dimes. That was her. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we, um, all... I don't know the concept. I don't know me just being ratchet. I, guess. <laughs> I feel it though. Yeah. That's one of them girl anthems right there. No, for real. You know when you like looking real good in the club and you right. like nobody can't tell you nothing. <laughs> right, right. Like, <laughs> hair flip. That needs to get in rotation. The edge, yeah, legs. To definitely be in. Brew brothers. Oh, thank you. Thank no, you. No, yeah, I really like it. So when, when can we expect something else? Um, uh, I'm working on it. Working uh, okay. On it. It's. A, it's like a whole little di a jump from that song. Okay. It's more singing. I was, yeah, I was yeah. gonna ask, what is yeah. what is your intention with this, this with EP? That, with the EP, I just I don't know. Like I want to go the independent route and just kind of do it myself. Like at this point, I'm just like, you know what? I want just want to bump my head. You know, yeah. I learned from experience, so I just want to bump my head and see see where I can go. Mm -hmm. I, feel I you. see you going far. Yeah. The next show I throw, most definitely. Would you be down the... Yes, 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 yes. I need, I'm telling you, I learn from experience. So, stage fright. I'm like, when I'm on the stage, I'm like, bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. I'm like, that's not cute. Why do you <laughs> <Yeah>. keep bouncing? <laughs> Man, well, I mean, you... might have to get you to perform that song. <laughs> I can definitely perform that song, oh, yes. yeah. Get you okay. to jump in. Yeah. How do you, how do you feel about Erica Badu? Another random question. A random question. That is... Supposedly my cousin by marriage. Ooh. Oh, so <laughs> that is yeah, yeah. Well, well, have you heard her new song? No, 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 no. I didn't know she had a new song. Yeah, well, she just dropped it like yesterday, and she's working on an EP that's mm -hmm. gonna be dropping uh Thanksgiving weekend. Okay, but um, she just dropped this new song called Phone Down, and I oh, must gosh. say it is. Yeah. We're about to get into so it. We're about right, to get into right it. Right now. So you kicked with Erica? No. No, 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 no. no. Uh, supposedly. Mm -hmm. This is supposedly because we're not right there. But her, uh, my mom used to be in a band with her son. Uh -oh. So. Uh -oh. so and now it's all too I don't know if that's like that. It's like, girl, girl. But. I really think Drake's gonna get on that song. What'd you think about it, Yolanda? It was good, it was good. Really? Chill, it was real chill. Really, 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 really. I wanna thank you for having um, time to come on the show and you got any shout outs you wanna give? Um, thank you, by the way, for having me on your show. Uh -huh. and I really appreciate it. Uh -huh. My first oh. interview, not, what, Kiki and Kelly? Yes, <laughs> hump day special, you know uh, this. 
I just want to give out the shout out to all the people that support me and all the people who motivate me to keep doing this. I just want to say this is not the last that you will hear of me. Um, I have big dreams and I'm definitely going to follow them. Oh, yes. Well, I have faith in you. Thank you. I'm Thank glad you. we could be like one of those stepping stones. Yes, please, process. please. And thank you. Mm-hmm. I'm actually surprised it's here. So, since it's here, I already bust down that door. Now, no going back. Let's show up. Yes, keep it up. And I wish you luck.